In Informatica Developer, create a flat file physical data object when you want to use a flat file as a source, lookup, or target. Flat file data objects are stored in project folders. If you look at the Object Explorer view, you can see that there's a sales project in the repository. We will add the flat file data object to the sales project. Right click on the project to create a new data object, then select the flat file data object wizard. You can create an empty flat file data object, or you can use an existing flat file to create the data object. To create a data object from an existing flat file, we need to browse to the location of the flat file that we want to use. Click Open after you select the flat file. Then click Next. You can configure the flat file data object properties now, or you can configure the properties after you create the data object. On this page, accept the defaults or configure the code page and format. Then click Next to configure additional properties. In the preview area, notice that the column names are listed in the first line of the file. We can choose to import column names from the first line. And now, notice that the column names have been updated. Let's go to the next page. Notice that the developer tool has also inferred the type and precision of the columns based on the data in the flat file. For example, the customer number field has a numeric type and a precision of 4. You can edit all these column properties. Then click Finish to create the data object. The flat file data object appears under the physical data object category of the project that we're working on, and it is open in the editor. As we select each view, notice the tabs in the Properties view. The Read view controls the properties that the Data Integration Service uses when it reads data from the flat file. The Data Integration Service is an application service in the Informatica domain that performs tasks such as previewing data and running profiles and mappings. The Write view controls the properties that the Data Integration Service uses when it writes data to the flat file. The Advanced view controls format properties that the Data Integration Service uses when it reads data from the flat file and writes data to the flat file. In this demo, we want to profile this data object and add it as a source in a mapping, so we need to configure the Read view. On the Read view, the Source object defines the flat file that provides the source data. The Output object represents the rows that the Data Integration Service reads when it runs a mapping. We need to select the output object to edit the file runtime properties. As we select the output object, notice that the tabs on the properties view change. We need to verify that the source file directory property is configured to a location that the data integration service can access and that the flat file is in that location. Otherwise, you will get errors when the data integration service attempts to read the data. Click the runtime tab on the properties view then locate the source file directory property. The property is configured to a location on the local machine. If the data integration service does not run on the local machine, you can enter a network path. Now we can use the data viewer view to preview the data represented by the flat file data object. Preview the data object to ensure that the data is processed as expected. Click run to preview the data. The Data Integration Service reads the file and it displays the output in the Data Viewer view. The data looks correct. Now we can run a profile on the data object and add it to a mapping. To run a profile on a data object, right-click the data object and select Profile. Then select the Profile Wizard and click Next. We want to quickly run a profile on all the columns and rows without configuring additional profile properties, so let's click Finish to create and run the profile. The profile appears in a new tab. Click the Results view and then select a column to discover characteristics of the data in the column. Notice that when we select the Promotion ID column, the profile results include the value frequency for data in the column. We can see that at more than 73%, Promotion ID 200 is the most frequently used promotion. You can also view the statistics and patterns for data in the column by selecting each option from the drop-down. 
Now let's add the flat file data object as a source in a mapping that I've already started. First, we will open the mapping, then click on the data object and drag it to the editor. Accept the read option and click OK to add the flat file data object as a source. To see the steps to create a complete mapping using this flat file data object, see the video titled Creating a Pass-Through Mapping. That completes this demo. To summarize, we imported a flat file to create a flat file data object, configured the data object, previewed the data object, ran a profile on the data object, and then added the data object as a source in a mapping. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.